Hey y'all, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Julie and this is the Retro Apron Cooking Channel. If you are interested in easy, delicious recipes on a weekly basis, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, give this video a thumbs up. We'd definitely appreciate it. Today, I'm gonna show y'all how to fix apple butter spice cake. I don't know where y'all live, but here in the Carolinas, it has been the hottest summer ever. And the other day, it finally cooled down just a little bit. So definitely thinking about fall and sweaters and apples and pumpkins getting excited about it, so let's make this recipe. In my bowl, I have a half a cup of softened butter, and to that, I'm gonna add three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. We're gonna mix that together until it's smooth. Let's go ahead and cut that oven on to 350, and next to our sugar and butter mixture, we're gonna add two eggs. This recipe actually uses a total of a half a cup of buttermilk, but right now we're just gonna add half of a half, so a quarter of a cup, and then we're gonna use the rest in a little bit. Beat that until it's nice and smooth, and we're just gonna go ahead and scrape the sides and set this bowl aside for right now and mix our dry ingredients together. In our smaller bowl, we're gonna add two cups of all-purpose flour, some baking soda, salt, cinnamon, and y'all know the exact measurements and ingredients are going to be listed below and also on my Instagram page, The Retro Apron, with the exact measurements and exact ingredients. Next, we're going to add some pumpkin pie spice and some allspice. Just whisk those ingredients all together. Now we're gonna bring our buttermilk butter mixture back over into the picture and add half of this flour mixture. Beat that together. We're gonna add some vanilla to this. Now we're using the rest of our buttermilk. And the rest of the flour mixture. And I'm pretty sure this wouldn't be considered apple butter spice cake if we didn't add the apple butter. So let's do it. Make sure you mix that apple butter in thoroughly until it's evenly distributed throughout all of the batter. You wanna make sure it's all even color. You're technically supposed to put this batter in a nine by five loaf pan, but I do what I want and I wanna make it into cupcakes. So that's what we're doing today. I'm actually taking with these to work with me tomorrow for my coworkers, and I'm really just feeling extra grateful for my job today. There's a lot of people out there that don't have one, and even if you don't love your job, just be grateful for it. But in the comments below, let me know something you're feeling extra thankful for today. I think gratitude is one of the most important things that there is, and I think a lot of times we just take things for granted, and we're not very thankful. We always want more, but we're not thankful for what we have. So let's work on that a little bit. I have some absolutely amazing recipes on my channel for cakes. So make sure you check out my Kentucky butter cake and also the buttermilk banana cake. They're both delicious and I think y'all will like those too. All right, we're gonna put these in the oven. While the cupcakes are in the oven, we're gonna fix a glaze for on top. All it is is confectioner sugar and orange juice. It's gonna be so good. We're gonna put it on while they're still a little bit warm so they can really soak down into the cake. It's gonna make them amazing. Make sure that's nice and smooth. I removed these from the oven and let them cool just a little bit, but I still wanted them to be a little bit warm when I put the glaze on. So I also poked some holes in the top to let that glaze really soak down in there. In the cupcake tin, these only took about 20 minutes to bake, but if you're gonna make the loaf pan, you're probably looking at closer to an hour in the oven. Well, I am definitely ready to try one of these, so I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's just dig on in. Mmm. That is absolutely everything you can imagine, and so much more. Mmm. Well, I cannot stop eating this. It's amazing. Remember to check out my other cake videos that I mentioned earlier. The buttermilk banana cake is amazing and the Kentucky butter cake. You're going to love it. So check them out. Thank you so much for stopping in today. I appreciate your time. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.